Let's learn how to use the AC analysis to plot the frequency response of a circuit. Frequency response is both the magnitude response and the phase response. Here I have a RLC circuit. I have an input side and an output side, and I'd like to evaluate the frequency response of this circuit. I need to place the AC voltage source, which is available in the virtual components palette, if that's not already visible on your system, right click up there and choose virtual. So I'll begin by placing the AC source. Let me get that connected up to the input side. And then I'll double click this to configure the source. Now everything down to phase that I'm indicating there was only for transient or time domain analysis. We want to focus our attention on the AC analysis parameters. So actually the value of one for the magnitude and the value of zero for phase is perfect for our frequency response analysis. Next, let me configure the AC analysis. Choose the output tab and then select your output. And it's convenient to have already labeled that net so it's easy to find. Here we have the start and stop frequencies. And let's just see what we have. This is, of course is a very wide range of frequencies going all the way out to 10 gigahertz. So I can concentrate my attention now around the areas of interest for this particular circuit. Let me use a restricted range now starting at 100 hertz and ending up at 100 megahertz or kilohertz rather. Also we have a variety of choices for the vertical scale. It defaults to logarithmic. We can also choose linear if that's what you need. We see the magnitude response on the top again and the phase response on the bottom. It's perhaps good to know that you can see the actual points at which the response is being evaluated. If your, if your number of points is too small, then your plot is gonna look kind of rough and you don't get very much resolution. Actually, this time I'm gonna try one hertz to one megahertz, again, going with linear but now let me increase the number of points per decade. Now when I toggle this button, I see much higher density. So that way I know that I'm getting a, a good plot. I'm not missing any important details. Notice that you can toggle on a grid and you can toggle on the cursors. I'll full screen this so it's a little bit easier to see. Now with the cursors active, you can simply run the cursor along the response and read off the numerical value in that white panel. If you want to switch the cursor down to phase, simply touch on the left side, toggle on the cursor, and now we can read out the phase. Now for printing purposes, it's nice to get rid of all of the black background, so that's easy to do. And lastly, I'd like to point out that when you are creating the so-called Bode plot, we like to have the vertical axis set up in decibels. So again, I'll go with uh, a range for start and stop frequencies, and then choose decibel, which would be abbreviated as dB. Let me also raise the number of points per decade here a bit. And now when we look at the left side of the magnitude plot, we notice that the scale is nicely calibrated in dB.